This is EY Stream. He just realized YouTube is broken. Please stop him from going crazy by hitting subscribe and the bell icon before today's video. Please guys, I need views. I'm still hearing it. Wait. I've got an idea, guys. Could Test Steve be trying to talk to us? Is that you speaking, Test Steve? <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another episode of our scary survival series. And today guys, I am pretty excited. I know I've said that a lot recently, but I think I'm allowed to be excited because we actually have Test Steve with us. Well, not right here, but he's up there in a little room I made for him. Yes, it is in Forced and Obsidian. That's because, you know, I still don't fully trust the test subject, so it's kind of a bedroom for him, but it's also kind of a trap. Don't tell him that that's a secret he thinks it's just a bedroom but um just in case something goes wrong i am able to lock him in there i know that's a little mean guys but considering you know corrupt steve and test subject 3 have both tried to kill us and test subject 3 also succeeded at that i feel like it's kind of important to put it there but we will be talking to test steve today and i'm hoping because he does seem a lot nice and he seems like he's the good version of test subject 3 a lot of you have been saying that and I think you guys might be onto something. I'm hoping he'll be able to tell us about the scientist. And, you know, maybe he'll even be able to lead us to where the scientist currently is. Or tell us what's going on with Test Subject 3. What makes him so special? I would love to know the answer to all of these questions. And hopefully we will be able to find them out today, guys. If you are excited, drop a like down below. We're going to go for 2,000 likes on today's video, guys. That would be absolutely insane. So much love to those of you who've done that. If you are new to the channel, make sure to slap the subscribe button. And guys, so you don't miss an episode of this series, hit the bell icon right now. Because YouTube, YouTube's a little broken. In fact, no, it's, it's a lot broken. And if you guys want to keep up to this with this series, and I really want you guys to know, uh, to know what's going on straight away, hit that bell icon right now, guys. Much appreciated. And, of course, if you have no idea what's going on with the Test Subject series, if you don't know who Test Steve is, who Corrupt Steve is, all that kind of stuff, guys, uh, yeah, you need to watch all my previous videos by hitting the little eye in the top left or right hand corner right now, guys, or hit the link in the description below, because seriously, these guys are really weird and really strange, and you're going to need to know the backstory to understand them before watching today's video, guys. But let's get started. First off, let's go ahead and just make some signs real quick, because obviously... We can't really talk to, uh, Test Steve yet. I, I'm not 100% sure. I do know he understands us. We discovered that, uh, earlier. And we also know that Test Subject 3 was able to speak to us using signs. So I'm assuming, maybe, um, we'll be able to talk to Test Steve with signs as well. That is kind of what I'm hoping. I mean, that may not be the case, but I'm really, really hoping it will be the case. Um, if not, then, well, this video falls apart, and, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot of plans besides for that, guys. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna craft just a few more signs, there we go. Alright, and bang, bang, bang. Uh, how many signs do you reckon we should make, guys? I think, and, yeah, that should be enough. Alright, I think we have enough signs now, guys. Let's go ahead and visit Test Steve, we'll see what he's doing. Alright, so as you can see, this is the kind of room I made for him, it's actually a kind of a prison cell. I feel really bad that he did save our life, but now we're kind of keeping in there, but still... I'm a little worried about these guys, so let's go ahead, open up the door, head in. As you can see, I've only put the lever on this side. But anyway, what is he doing? Uh, Test Steve? Uh, he's... Is he making a map? I'm really, really confused. <laughs> um... Test Steve! Hey, how you doing? You doing well? Um, alright. You going well, man? You okay? At least he's still alive. I mean, at least he's moving, guys. Um, so yeah, I made this little room for him. I couldn't find a flower, so I had to use a dead bush. I feel a little bad for that as well. But yeah, I got him some water, gave him a bed, and hopefully he's been nice and comfy in this little room. Um, he seems to have crafted a map. I'm not really sure. I did let him grab some stuff from my chest earlier just to see, because he seemed to want something. So, um, he's made some sort of map. I wonder... It doesn't seem like he's going to give it to me, though. Ugh, that's really, really strange. Test subject? How are you going? Wait. Do you guys hear that? Wait. No way. What is that? I don't know whether you guys can hear this. Is it? Let me know in the comments right now whether you guys are hearing this as well, but I'm hearing something really, really strange. What is that? Test subject. Two. Do you know, do you know what that is? 
Test Dave, do you know what that is? I'm still hearing it. Wait. I've got an idea, guys. Could Test Steve be trying to talk to us? Is that you speaking, Test Steve? Guys, that's Test Steve's voice. But we can't understand it, and it is really weird sounding. That is really messed up. Ah, oh, how are we gonna? So he he can definitely speak. That's that's crazy. He can speak, guys. The only problem is, is we can't understand him. Ah. Oh. I'm trying to think of how we can get around this. So he can definitely speak. That's so weird. I, these guys can actually speak. I wonder if Corrupt Steve and Test Subject 3 can speak. And if so, do they speak the same language? Because this is clearly some sort of other language. I don't speak it. I mean, I, I can't understand it. Let me know in the comments, actually, guys, if any of you know this language. Because I, I don't get it. All right. Look, we, c we clearly can't talk to him using whatever this is. But it's so strange. It's... Look, guys, listen. He's... He's trying to speak to us still. I, I can you understand me, Testy? Okay, so he can understand us, and he's trying to speak back to us, but we don't understand him. We do not. Wait, wait. I gotta nod my head, guys, so he knows. We do not understand, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Testy. Sorry. I'm sorry for hitting you. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But no, I do not understand. All right, so hopefully he gets this. I'm going to give him some signs, and hopefully he'll understand that I want to talk to him using the signs. All right, he's picked them up. He's picked them up. All right, let me put this sign down, and let's see whether he understands. All right, so we'll go, who are you? I feel like that's the first kind of question, because we still don't know a lot about these test subjects. So let's put this down. All right, let's see what he says. Oh, all right. Okay, he understands. He understands I want to talk to him. I, what is he writing? Don't remember. I don't remember. You don't remember? How can you not remember who you are? You, you don't remember. You know nothing. Wait, what? Guys, how does he not remember who he is? I don't get that at all. I'm so confused. Wait, okay. Um. Uh. You don't remember anything? Oh, let me let me spell anything, right? Okay, there we go. You don't remember any? That's so weird. Okay, he's reading the sign. How can you not remember anything? Did the sign just like clear their memories or something? That'd be weird. Oh my. Wow, the scientist, he's... Has he cleared their memory? I don't get... He's writing again. Let's... Wait, wait. Can't see what he's writing. He's standing in the way. What is he writing? When I was little, the scientist took me from my village. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This scientist is messed up, guys. Not only is he experimenting on people, but he took him from his village when he was little? That's messed up! Oh, that's horrible. That is absolutely horrible, guys. We, we need to find the scientist, and I reckon we need to get him locked up. He needs to be in jail. That is really messed up. No wonder Notch banished him. Oh my, oh, I'm, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I gotta let him know. That's horrible. That is honestly horrible, guys. Let's see what it says. I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe the scientist would do something that cruel. Wait, what is he writing? You need to get out of here. That's what Test Subject 3 said to us as well. What is... Okay. It seems like all these test subjects seem so scared of the scientist. Whatever he did to them, guys, it must have been pretty bad because they all seem so scared of him. But... Look, here's the thing. We can't we can't stop. We've we've tried for so hard. We've tried spawning in all the test subjects to find the scientist. We can't give up now. I'm sorry. I know like I know it's dangerous and we need to get out of here, but I'm not giving up now. I refuse to. I need to know who the scientist 
is first. I'm sorry. I need to know who it is first. I'm I'm sorry, Test Steve. I'm sorry if he's scary. I'm sorry if, like... But, guys, seriously, we've been working at this for so long now that I refuse to give up. That would just defeat... Like, I feel like I would have wasted so much time and I would always be, like, questioning. Wait. Please stop. <laughs> What is with the test subjects and asking me to stop looking for the scientist? What is so bad about him? I need to know. I don't want you to die. Oh, wow. Oh, now I just feel bad. He wants us to stop because he doesn't want us to die. <sighs> All right. Test Steve, I know you don't want us to die, but... This is too much of a mystery for me to give up now. I... Clearly something bad is going on, and we need to find out who the scientist is so we can stop him from doing the horrible things he did to you to anyone else. I refuse to let it happen. Through, like, if I just let it happen, that, that makes me a horrible person. I know about this, and if I just let it happen, I, I refuse. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Um, I won't stop until I find him. Like, I just... Oh, I can't spell until. Please. Until I find him. I... I I'm not gonna stop, guys. I mean, if you were in my position, like, surely, guys, you would know the right thing to do is if somebody like this is out there, we need to stop him. We can't let him just continue being rampant. I refuse to do that, guys. It's it's not gonna happen. I refuse. All right. Do you even know where to go? Oh, that's a good question. Um, not really. Not at all, actually. Um... Okay. No, I, I don't. Maybe he knows, actually. Wait, wait. Do you know how I can find him? I guess that's really the only thing we can ask, considering he... If anybody knows, it'll be him, not me. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, sorry, Test Steve. I'll destroy the sign for you. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving you a hand. I'm just giving you a hand. All right, cool. I... I think that's supposed to be my hit. I'm not going to judge him too much on his spelling, guys, considering he speaks a completely different language to us. I might know where to go, but are you sure you want to do that? Is that supposed to be this? Oh, this. This? I might know... Where to go, but are you sure you want to do this? Yep, I'm sure. I am definitely sure. Let's go ahead, bring this up. All right. I am definitely sure, guys. So I'm sure we got to ask him for his help because he definitely seems to know where we can find the scientist and we need to get him. We need to get his help. Please help me. All right. I need your help. I, I, I literally, guys, we can't do this without him. I need your help. All right. There we go. I just hope, guys, I hope he helps us. I mean, surely he will. After all he's been through, would he not want to also see that the scientist is <laughs> locked up? I remember the scientist used to have... I remember the scientist used to have a secret chamber. Okay. Um, sure. Oh, there's another one. If we can get in, we might... What is he What is he on about? If we can get in, we might be able to track down the scientists. Is that, is that what he's writing? Yep. All right. So if we can get in, we might be able... To, wait, so the scientist isn't in his secret chambers? No? That doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm confused. So, but I guess he's saying that if we can get to the scientist's secret chambers, maybe there's a book or something like that that might be able to tell us where he's gone. That could be. Maybe there's a map even. All right, that's cool. Let's let's head there then. So, let's go. He seems to know where the secret chamber is. Oh, I can't spell. There we go. So, let's go then. I mean, it makes sense. If, if that's the only place we can go, then clearly. All right. I guess this is the real only way. We can find out. There is one problem. Is that what is... Okay, yeah. There is one problem. What's that? I mean... 
I, what's that? I, 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 I don't see any problem with this, to be honest. Right, he's written the sign. I mean, it seems pretty simple. He takes us to the scientist's secret lab. We find out some information that helps us track him down. We find the scientist. Only test subject three can get in to the lab? To the scientist's secret chambers? Why is that? Why would the scientist only let test subject three into his lab? Clearly there's something in that lab that I'm not supposed to find. If only test subject three can get in. There's literally... Oh. Is there no other way we can get in? I mean, that would be really useful. If we can find another way, can get in. If we can find another way to get into the lab, that's that would be preferable. Maybe we can... Maybe corrupt... Okay, no, I don't want to bring Corrupt Steve back. I was like, maybe Corrupt Steve can get in. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. No, Corrupt Steve wants my guts on a plate. I don't think that's a good idea, guys. Oh, here we go. I have an idea. But we need... We might, we might die? Oh, that's not great. I don't, uh, <laughs> we might die. Well, that makes me so positive, guys. He has an idea, but we might die. That's, that's great. Well, I guess we don't have a lot of other choices and he's the only one who knows where it is. So I guess we may as well say, what is it? What's the, what's, what is your crazy idea that we might die? I. I really don't like the idea of dying. I mean, ugh. I need to control. Oh, wait, no, I really don't like the sound of that. I need to control test subject three. And how? How in the world do you propose we're going to do that test, team? You need to control test subject three? That's like asking me to, I don't know. What's, what's something really, really high, guys? What is something I struggle with? That's like asking me to make a nice breakfast. I I suck at making breakfast, guys. I'm just going to put that out there. But I mean, getting you to control test subject three, that guy is literally uncontrollable. He is, he just causes mayhem wherever he goes. I mean, ooh, how are we supposed to? Wait a minute. Guys, this is an idea I came up with last episode, if you guys remember. But my idea was that Corrupt Steve and test subject... Uh, test subject 2 or test Steve together form test subject 3. That was my idea, but that would mean that they can merge. So in theory, guys, if we can merge test Steve into test subject 3, test Steve might be able to actually control test subject 3. That's a... I, I know that's really out there, guys, but that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe... Maybe we could merge you with test subject three i mean <laughs> i know it's really out there guys but <laughs> it's the only thing i can think of right now what uh, how else are we going to get him to control him i don't know mind powers that really just mind powers sound pretty dumb to be honest so i <laughs> i i can't think of any other way that we could control him I, maybe this would be the one what does he think wait i remember the scientist talking about it wait so I'm onto something. If the scientist was talking about merging the different test subjects, then maybe this theory has some sort of ground. Maybe I might be onto something. So if he, he heard the scientist talking about it. Um, well, does that mean he knows? I, if he, if the scientist was talking about it, then perhaps the scientist has done some sort of research. Let's go. So do you know? how he did it. I mean, I feel like that seems like the next logical question to ask, because if, uh, if Test Steve heard the scientist talking about it, then maybe he knows how he can do that, how we can gain control of Test Subject 3. And then if he can control Test Subject 3, we can get into the scientist's secret chamber, and then we can find information about where the scientist is now and track him down. That's the only real way I can think about getting it, uh, getting around this, making this work. All right. No, sorry. Oh, he doesn't know... Oh, but he might have written it down? Hey! That could actually be right. I mean, so far, we've found so many things that the scientist has written down. We found all the respawn booklets. We found the, um, the test subject three to test subject two separation book. It seems like the scientist does write most of his notes down. 
So maybe we might be able to find it written down. But where would we find it? I mean, I've already looked at all the chests in around the test chambers and there was nothing there. Oh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. He might have written it down, but <laughs> where? He probably has written it down, but where in the world? Wait. I don't know whether I've looked through all the chests back in that little lab room that we found, the one that, you know, was hidden behind the walls. Um, all right, follow me, Tess Steve. Follow me, follow me. All right, come with me. We're going down here, all right? Come on. All right, so it's not in any of these chests. These are my chests, so I guess it can't be in there. Um, if he's written it down, I'm, I'm almost certain it's not in these chests. I mean, there's nothing in this chest. All I remember there being was golden apples and... Is there anything in this chest? He's looking in here as well. There's still the respawn test hall book. There's, that's not what we're looking for. So weird. This black stuff. I mean, it's broken the door. I mean, as you can see, guys, it's not blocked up anymore. That's so weird. And it's not in any of these chests. This is where we found the TS3 to TS2 book. So it's clearly not in there. These chests are empty. Wait, I can't open this chest. I've, I, if I can't open it, I've probably never looked in it. Um, let's, why can't I, I can't open it because the block's above it. Let's destroy those. All right, let's see what's in here. Um, uh, block of iron, chests, splash potion of harming, redstone. Ooh! TS1 plus TS2? What? I'm really confused. TS1 plus TS2. Let's have a look at this. Merging technique? Test subject one plus test subject two? Wait. Merging technique. Does that mean merging corrupt Steve and test Steve together? Wait. But what does that make? Does it say? Um, uh, It doesn't say. Does it make test subject three? That's the only thing I can think of right now because that's a theory that we've had for a while that maybe those... One side's the good side, one side's the bad side. You merge them together and you get test subject three. Um, but it doesn't... Look, I'm just doing a quick swipe through here. It doesn't mention test subject three anywhere in these instructions. That's so weird. Potentially reversible. Allows for power control. Wait, that's what we want. We want power control. We want test Steve to be able to control test subject three. Wait, wait, modifiers. We can either test subject to provide control and power to the remaining test subject. So in theory, if we weaken Corrupt Steve before we merge him with Test Steve, does that mean Test Steve has control over t Corrupt Steve or control over Test Subject 3? Oh my, my brain hurts. This is a lot to think about. Um, Yeah, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below or guys, join my Discord chat. I will have the link in the description below. Basically, I, you know, talk about different theories I have, what I should do in the next video. And there's a bunch of other subscribers, guys, you can talk to as well as talking to me in my Discord chat. So go hit the link in the description below to come join my messages chat so that we can try and figure out what this means. But I really don't know. So you can see here, weakness, test subject one, water. Yeah, we figured that out. We figured out that Corrupt Steve can't react to water. Test subjects, two weaknesses, damage. Well... Actually, that kind of makes sense, considering Test Subject 2 doesn't seem to have any different to normal beings. He's a human. He's basically a human. He was taken from a village when he was young, so, he, so he's human, so his weakness is damage. But Test Subject 1, or Corrupt Steve's weakness is water, as we found out, does that mean he's a robot? Or does that mean he's just a really messed up human that's been experimented on a lot? I don't really know, guys. The only thing I can think of is... We've got to follow these instructions and we have to build this merging machine. Because clearly, that's the only way that we'll be able to give Test Steve control over Test Subject 3. Wait, let's chuck him this book. Is this what you were talking about? Yes, it is what he was talking about. Could I have it back, please? Because I'm going to kind of need that. Thank you. Um... So if this is what he was talking about when he was talking about the scientists must have written it down, then this must be the way that we can gain control over Test Subject 3. And if we can gain control over Test Subject 3, we can get into the scientists' secret chambers, we can track down the scientists, and we can shut them down once and for all. Yes! Alright, cool. I've 
got something to go on, guys. Now, we actually, for once, we have a lead in this series. Are you coming, Test Steve? All right, good. I kind of just left him there. But, guys, for once in this series, we have a lead. We have something to follow. We actually have a way that we might be able to track down the scientist. That, that's insane. We're actually getting somewhere, guys. This is insane. Thank you so much, Test Steve. You've helped me so much. Um... I, I can't believe it, guys. This is crazy. But wait, wait a minute. We're going to need Corrupt Steve to merge him with Test Steve. We're going to need to get Corrupt Steve back. Now, we know he did a fake death, so he must still be alive. And we know that he was looking for me because... I had the Test Subject 3 Power Potion. As you guys remember, if I still have the book on me, do I still have it? Classified 46. You guys remember that he was supposed to eliminate me. That means he's probably still looking for me. So, I think we have to trap him. Alright guys, I've got an idea. We are going to try and trap Corrupt Steve. I'm going to start putting together ideas and plans for a trap. But that brings us to the end of today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And until next time, fam, EY Stream out.